Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. I'm going to go over two things related to mitochondria. Number one, how to get into it. And number two, what are the nutrients that are most important once you're in there? So I've used this poster before. It's super interesting. It's not that hard to understand. It looks kind of complicated. But all I got to do is know the words. All right, it's called the metabolic pathways. It's all the chemical, not all of them, but it's the majority of chemical reactions um, that occur in the body. And once you understand these, you have a really good idea as to what's going on. Okay, so let's talk about how to get into the mitochondria. Now, if you're ill, chronically sick with some disease, chances are you're just burning sugar all the time. That's this pink part right here. So when you're always burning sugar, that will lead to disease. You got to get into the yellow part. That's the mitochondria right here. So you get into that and you're um, burning, uh, you're using fat and you're making a lot of ATP, which is energy, very efficiently, super, super efficiently. Okay, so how do you get actually into the mitochondria? Well, um, there's several ways, and uh, I'm going to like be zooming in and stuff. So here we have a carnitine right here. Now, carnitine, just think carnivore. It's in meat. And what it does is it drives acetyl-CoA into the mitochondria. That's a fat. So it's kind of like burning fat, right? You want to use that as energy, not, not sugar. Okay, here's another way to get into the mitochondria. Right here, that's ketone bodies. You can see that curvy arrow right there. There's the three ketones, and um, that's another way to get into the mitochondria. So there's, here's an arrow right here, right there. And if we trace that back, what, what it's going to, if we trace it, it goes like this down, and it starts to curve around. It's a long one. So there's my cursor. It goes all the way over here. And it's, it's, it's a protein, this red font, this whole section is all amino acids. So it's, there it says amino acids. And it's all this red. Those are all proteins. And they end up in the mitochondria here. Let's zoom in. Um, there's four arrows here, and there's three arrows here. So there's the proteins. And what's the best source of protein? Well, we all know the truth is it's meat. It's not plants. And... Um, so there's another way to get into the mitochondria. Here's another arrow. So you need protein, and you need fats, and um, ketones. That's how you get into the mitochondria. Okay, so now once you're in there, what do you do? Oh, let's not forget oxygen. I'm sorry, I don't want to skip this green arrow right there. So what's the best way to get oxygen? Number one, breathe. Number two, don't be anemic. And how do you not be anemic? Eat meat. Okay. Now, there are four white areas right here, and these are, the, this is the la these are the last stages of creating energy in the mitochondria. So, and they're actually labeled with a Roman numeral. Okay, so here's Roman numeral one right there. And then we got number two here, number three, and number four. Okay, and technically this is number five. I'll get to this at the end. So these, are, these areas are called cytochromes. And it's like areas where cytochromes exist. So here you see CYT.BL. That's a type of a cytochrome. A uh, cytochrome is a protein with an iron in it. That's all. That's all it is. And they have different names after the end of it, like BL or BH or um, C1. The C1 just means it was discovered at a certain time. That's all that that means. Okay, but the point is there's cytochromes in this area and here's one in this area the second area okay so that's a nutrient and what is it again it's a protein with an iron okay so we need iron and we need protein to feed our mitochondria now here are other nutrients here's a combination of iron and sulfur right here right there it says there's five clusters of this iron sulfur combination and you'll see iron and sulfur combined here also in number two. And you'll see it here in number three. All right. We're going to talk about the foods where you get these from. Now in the fourth one, here's copper. C-U-A. C-U means copper if you study chemistry. And here's C-U-B right there. Those are other nutrients that help facilitate the production of energy in the last stages of the mitochondria. And then the last thing I want to talk about is heme. Heme is iron uh, that comes from animals. It doesn't come from plants. Okay, so when you're looking at how to facilitate these four areas, 
You want to eat these foods. The top 10 highest foods in iron. Number one, fortified breakfast cereals. Make sure you eat Wheaties every day. That's a joke. Okay, I take that back. And now this isn't 1980 anymore. So just ignore the breakfast cereals. And we're going to go with the beef and the shellfish. Number one and two is beef and shellfish. They're the highest in iron. It's not spinach. Spinach has anti-nutrients that prevent the absorption of iron. Okay, now the best source of sulfur. It says right here, we get most of the sulfur we need from animal foods with high methionine and or cysteine content. Methionine and cysteine are uh, chemical compounds that contain sulfur. So we have meat, poultry, organ meats, bone broth, gelatin, collagen. Okay, moving on. I had mentioned copper. The top 10 high copper foods by nutrient density. Number one, liver. Number two, seafood. So you see a pattern here. So you, to get the copper and the sulfur and the iron and the carnitine, it's meat, it's animal products. That's just, that's just life. That's the food chain. That's how things are. The very last stage is this circle right here. It's, it's like, actually like a merry-go-round. It rotates. And in eighth grade biology, you may have heard of ATP. Your body makes as much ATP as you weigh. If you weigh 150 pounds, you're making 150 pounds per day of ATP in this whole cytochrome uh, called ATP synthase. So that's how you get uh, into, into the mitochondria and into the final stages of energy production in the mitochondria with those very important nutrients.